Jacob, what is um, important to you about the Occupy movement? Well, I think Occupy came along at a time where it seemed like there wasn't going to be any kind of like left-wing movement, anything to actually really challenge, you know, the, the the status quo. And so Occupy just came out of nowhere, and I think it it gave everyone hope again that yeah, we can, you know, break the narrative of you know the the, the narrative that that they try to contain us with of uh, this is the way it has to be. Um, so I, I think that's the main importance of Occupy that it it connects it connects all the dots. You know, when people say that Occupy doesn't know what they're really fighting for, no, it's it's simple. A, a, a fundamentally different society that the way things are, are structured are, are inherently inequitable and and it doesn't have to be that way. You can still have businesses, you can still have you know, you can still have government but it doesn't have to be this, this, I think the best word for it is the uh, corptocracy, you know, where the, the collusion between large corporations and, and government for its own self-interest, you know, that's, the, that's not the way it has to be. And Occupy, you know, I think showed people that, at least there's people aware that, that there are some fundamental problems with the society and we may not necessarily have a step-by-step -step plan to fix it, but we have to start off by at least acknowledging that we can't go on like this. Okay, thank you. Chris, what is important about Occupy for you? Um, Occupy Youngstown. Here we are February the 23rd, 2013, and we've had almost a year and a half since our inception in 2011. I think our goals are still the same. We um, definitely want to use that spirit of Occupy to continue to help people who are going through foreclosures, um, to uh, do the Food Not Bombs project that we started last year that's feeding the homeless, um, and various other activities. Right now the important one though is of course Frack Free Mahoning, um, trying to get enough signatures for the um, citizens' uh, rights, um, citizens, they just Oh, what is that name of that? Citizens' Rights... Initiative? Uh, yeah, Citizens' Rights. Just a fairly new new uh, an acronym that they had. Gosh, that... Anyways, the Citizens' uh, Bill of Rights. That's yes. it. Yeah, citizens' Bill of Rights. Thank you. Um, and getting fracking eliminated from the city of Youngstown. We really need to let our politicians know in uh, so many ways with so many avenues that we want clean water, we want clean air, we don't want big trucks going through our streets, and we don't want the power of corporations to continue to dominate us the way that they have. Um, I guess the only other thing that um, is really significant now in February to think about is uh, gardening and local produce, which of course everybody will be starting to dig up the garden pretty soon. Um, we're on a um, uh, also a campaign right now to stop the GMOs. We want to make sure that people know about Monsanto, how it is modifying the fruits, vegetables that we eat, um, and going back to the local system of uh, food production and how much healthier that that is for us as individual and how much better it is for the earth. I think I've covered everything. Sean, what is uh, the next move with the Citizens Initiative anti-fracking work in Youngstown? Well, right now we're sitting back and we're deciding on what we've done right and what we've done wrong, or not wrong, but what we could have done better. And uh, we're looking into a possible, uh, into possibly having it put on the next ballot in November. Okay. Okay. And are there still weekly meetings going on and people are talking? Yes, there is, at the Unitarian Church every Saturday morning. Okay, fantastic. Is the public invited? Uh, as far as I know, anybody that wants to come can come. And uh, we have plenty of uh, stuff to talk about. And we also have uh, plenty of things that we need people to go out and work on for us, okay. to help us with. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Okay.